Nice shot, Drake. Hell yeah. And it's going to be a bright, bright, sunshiny day. So, Reminar and I just had an excellent, very quick pheasant hunt. And if you want to see what happens, you'll have to watch till the end of this episode, which is episode six of the bird tales. So last Saturday, like I told you in the previous episode, I ventured north with some friends to hunt <laughs> sharp tails. Some days you just can't put it together. Sometimes you have a week like last week where you can literally call your shot. Will you be mad if I shoot your rooster? And then a few days later, you can't figure it out to save your life. I mean, don't get me wrong, we didn't get skunked. On the way up to the spot where we were planning on hunting sharp tails, ten, I said, ten. I think I have a spot where we can probably run into a rooster. And we did. Oh, it's really young. That's why I was like, hey, it's mine. But it is sunset and the sharp tails have defeated me have defeated us. Whether it's between all the prey chickens that we flushed, which you can't shoot in Minnesota. Look at that high-bush cranberry. The birds that flushed out of range. Oh, look at all these birds. Look at all them birds. The birds that the dogs flushed out of range. Easy, Andy, easy. Damn it, there it goes. For the whole pile of shots that we probably should have made. But at least it's a nice sunset and I'm going hunting with my brother tomorrow. So the sharp tail hunt was kind of a bust. I am going to try to get back up there for my birthday in a couple of weeks. I try to shoot one sharp tail a year in Minnesota. We have a lot of diversity of birds here between sharp tails, rough grouse, prairie chickens, spruce grouse, pheasants, woodcock. Maybe someday I'll find myself a Hungarian partridge, which is like a dream bird for me to shoot in Minnesota anyways. So we came back from the sharp tail hunt. Earlier in the week, my brother had asked me if I would go pheasant hunting with him on Sunday, which never happens. I pretty much have to drag him pheasant hunting. And so if he asks me, I have to go. But I was happy to go and we had an excellent hunt. Come on, Ram. Oh, damn it. So there's a big ditch that runs through this property and Drake and I were walking up here to cross the bridge to get onto the other side and just as we were about to cross the bridge we could hear a rooster cackle back over here right past where we had walked. And so we sat and listened to him for a while and decided he was reasonable to go after. So we walked back into there and we flushed him right away. Shot, Drake. Hell yeah. And I'm just on this missing streak. I don't know what what my deal is right now, but I just can't hit a bird. But I shot, and nothing seemed to be happening for that split second. Then Dead Eye Drake in front of me pulls the trigger and just just rolls him. Any any words of wisdom? No, nope, none. None. Nice shot, Drake. Hell yeah. Drake and I have had a phenomenal night. We've each got a rooster. Rem, Rem, come. Two mature, nice roosters. There's not a whole lot to say about the rooster I shot. It just 
Remnard went on point. We creeped up a little ways. He flushed, and I got a good shot. <laughs> Number two, Bubba. That works out B E A beautifully. But we're walking along the road right now because there's a that big ditch. We're a long ways from the bridge, so we're walking the road to get across it. We're trying to get the dog back before we run into too much traffic. So we're kind of in a power walk mode. Oh, it's a good night. This year is just full of these great moments for me. Shot the prairie chicken, took Ben out to shoot his first pheasant, took my brother out on that really good hunt. And then today, today was even a good hunt. I took Friday afternoon off to go on a quick pheasant hunt or a long pheasant hunt if that's what it took. Uh, but it, it was actually pretty nice. We came onto this walk-in access area and Shot both of our roosters in about 20 minutes. Ready? Easy, easy. No. Good bird. Good boy. Yeah. Boy. I dropped that rooster on the other side of the ditch. I'm pretty sure he's dead. He's over there. The rooster's over there. I'm gonna have to cross the ditch. Two, three. Oh. Yeah, real wet. Now he'll find it right before I get there. Rem, come here. It's right here. It's <laughs> a nice rooster. Got a tail on that. Rem, look at that, huh? So, that's it. That's the end of my week. That's the end of episode six. Episode seven is going to be something. And the reason it's going to be something is because tomorrow is Minnesota's firearm deer opener. And these public lands are gonna be full of orange people tomorrow. So, I'm gonna take my wife out in the morning and we're gonna try and shoot a deer at our house. And maybe in the middle of the day, 
I'll go out to a wide open grassy spot where I don't see any orange and try to shoot a rooster before the hunters head back out to the stands in the afternoon. Um, it, it'll be interesting, that's for sure. But that's all I have for you. So I appreciate you watching. Be sure to tune in and watch episode 7. See you later.